Hayter's downward header, and Bournemouth do have a fourth, and it's substitute James Hayter. Five minutes from time, pinpoint cross from Brian Stock, downward header from Hayter into the bottom left corner. Bournemouth four, Wrexham nil. So pleased for James, you know, just had a little boy at the weekend, first child, and talking to his dad before the game and saying how nice it would be if he could, you know, finish it off further the week with a goal, and he's done it. Fantastic, James. 4-0 to the series and beyond the wildest dreams, I would think, of most of the six and a half or so, so thousand crowd inside Dean Court this evening. 4-0 they lead, kicked on by Steve Burgess in the third minute. 1-0 then, and Hayter's outside again. Chance for a fifth, James Hayter, it's five! Dean Court on its feet, two in a minute for James Hayter. Bournemouth lead Wrexham by five goals to nil. Oh, you can't believe it. Just talking about where well, one goal being a fantastic celebration for him, but now he's got two to remember the night by. Well, where was the Wrexham defence? Absolutely nowhere is the answer. Three run for Hayter. Everybody looked at the linesman, no flag from him. And Hayter slots the ball under Andy Dibble, unchallenged. It's 5-0. An absolute rout at Dean Court. Edwards, Wrexham, short. Can they find some pride from this game? And I'm afraid most of the hundred or so of Wrexham fans have headed for the exit. What a night at Dean Court of Division 2 football. You've heard it all on BBC Radio Solon. We've still got four minutes left. Can they make it six? Well, <laughs> you wouldn't bet against it at the moment. James Hayter could score again. It would have to be the quickest hat-trick in history, surely. Even if it took him till the 90th minute. He's got two in a minute. On 85 minutes and 85 and a half. Elliot down the right-hand side. Runs away from him, though, on the right corner of the penalty area. Given away, and Re Wrexham will come away with Darren Ferguson. Wrexham are serious playoff contenders, absolutely smashed to pieces by the Cherries this evening. Rampant display from Sean O'Driscoll's side. The perfect riposte from the disaster at Brighton on Saturday. They were awful oh, then, we go and that was awful from Wrexham. And now it's three on two, and it's coming through the middle. Recovering challenge from Edward. Here's Hayter. Hayter. He's onside. Hayter. He's done it. it. <laughs> it's absolutely unbelievable. James Hayter has a three-minute hat-trick.